let me show you how to solve this in seconds. What is the sum of the solutions of this equation? Now, would you want to factorize having two brackets? Because actually, in makes sense, we are asked to find the sum of the solution. That means the addition of the two roots. This equation will have two roots. So the addition of the roots will give one of these as the answer. So one of the ways is to factorize this, but it will take time. Why don't you do this instead? Now, let one of the roots be alpha and the other one beta. So you add two of them, that is alpha plus beta being the sum of both. It will give you minus b over a. It has been proven. So from here, our b is a coefficient of x and it comes with minus. So minus 24 divided by a, a being the coefficient of x squared, that is 2. So this divided by this will give you minus 12. So now, this is minus 12. But if you are factorizing this, or using some lambda to solve this, you will have x as minus 4 or minus 8. Now, I want you to try this. Check if you have minus 4, minus 4 and minus 8 as the value of this equation, the solution to this equation. Now, if you add the, the two roots, minus 4 plus minus 8, you still have minus 12. So whichever way, whether you are factorizing this, which will take time, or you are using this other method to solve this, you still have minus 12. So this is one of the SAT exams. If you are preparing for SAT exams, JEET, NEET exams, and other international exams, this channel is the best for you because I have a playlist.